Hello, my name is Leah, and today my colleague Aditya and I are going to cover embedding an Integration Insight dashboard into an Oracle Apex application. Aditya will take you through an in-depth overview of Oracle Insight and how to create an embeddable link. Then I will show you how to use that link and embed the dashboard into an Oracle Apex application. This configuration requires IDCS integration with the Integration Insight and the Apex application. For more information on how to configure IDCS with Apex, refer to this video or find the link in the description below. Hello everyone, my name is Aditya and today we'll be looking at what Integration Insight is and how to embed it in Apex. So why do we use Integration Insight? The number one benefit is real-time visibility into digital processes. So as the integration is running, it will update the dashboards and then the business users viewing those dashboards get real-time updates of, of the integrations. Second reason is that you can visually define operational metrics. So when you build these dashboards, uh, the, uh, the milestones and the metrics that you want to define are all visually defined. A uh, bunch of drag and drops and pretty easy to use. The last I would say is it can help you prevent business failures and give you early warnings. When you look at these dashboards, since it's real time, uh, you could look and say, hey, this uh, process has been stuck on this milestone for a couple of hours. Let me take an action. Or you can set alarms that go off based on certain things like if it moves from order received to order shipped is greater than a day or two, you could set off an alarm and notify the right person so that they can take immediate action. Uh, one of the key features of Insight is that it is embeddable. Uh, business users who view these dashboards will not log in, will generally not log in to Integration Cloud to kind of view these, uh, these dashboards. So one of the key features of Insight is that you can embed these uh, in those respective SaaS applications, those respective business applications where your business users are kind of logging in and looking at um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So for example, it could be ERP, could be HCM, could be NetSuite, and you could embed these dashboards into those applications uh, as long as they have the single sign-on between those applications and this integration instance, you would be able to view those dashboards seamlessly. So to embed these dashboards, um, we'll make our way to Insight and to the consoles. And within the consoles, uh, let's look at one of the ones that I've created for this particular example, which is the order process. And if I open the order process, you can see the dashboards, the default dashboards um, right here. And um, let's say I want to embed uh, the milestones summary. So if you click the kind of brackets there on the top, that's the embed option. It brings up three different options. Um, the last one is getting deprecated. So um, we shouldn't be looking at that. Uh, the two options that you have is it can be a URL, uh, which you can you know, um, use in an iframe, or it can be a custom component within a Visual Builder app. So what you can do with the Visual Builder piece is download um, the components. It's going to be a zip. And you go to your Visual Builder app, upload this, these components, and um, start using them. And then you can embed that Visual Builder app within your uh, SaaS application. Or uh, you can directly do it using the URL in iframe. So in this video, we'll be looking at the URL in an iframe option. So as soon as I click that, uh, you can see on the left, we have a couple of options. On the top here is the URL. Um, and then we have a small preview uh, pane where after applying these options, you can update the preview and kind of look at it before you pass the URL along to um, the team that's going to embed this. So in my case, I am just going to look at milestone summary. Uh, here you can add and remove the dashboards. These are the default dashboards that I've created. Uh, you can give them heights and you can look at the layout. So if I had more than one of these, I could change this layout so to have it side by side, 
Now, the second option is the styling. So in this case, I only have one dashboard, but if I had multiple, um, I would use this and update so that the name of the dashboard shows up on, on that dashboard piece there. So here you can see a milestone summary. The third option is the lifecycle filters. And then we have the option for custom filters, but this is only for custom dashboards. So we'll just skip this. And you have advanced properties. Uh, you have an option to change the time zone. So in this case, this doesn't show any time zones, so it doesn't really matter. But if you want to embed other dashboards where you can see the times, then this is a really key piece because you want the time zones to be as per the business user's time zone, right? So they can easily read it. And then this is kind of one of the most important uh, features here. So if you look at the dashboard here right now, if I double click or if I click into any of them, I'm not able to navigate down, kind of drill down into the details of the of the business transactions. Um, if I select this and with this feature now, I will be able to drill down into kind of see, you know, at a row level of what the orders that were received. Um, and then I can further go down into each order and kind of see the uh, detailed views as well. So this is a really important feature, um, which, you know, is, is your call if you want to allow these users to kind of navigate and drill down, enable it, if not, disable it. And once you're done building out this dashboard, what you can do is you can just pass along this URL to whoever is working on embedding this into the SaaS app. So in this case, I will pass this along to Leah um, and then she can show the embedding this into the Apex app piece. Thank you. Thank you, Aditya. Here we have an Apex application configured with IDCS. I'm going to create a new blank page for the Insight dashboard. In my page designer, under content body, I'm going to create a new region. This is where the Insight dashboard will live. I can leave all the default values. Under source, in the text region, I will paste in the embeddable link that Aditya created earlier. Here I'm using iframe. I've also added some styling to make the dashboard more viewable. Next, I'm going to save my application and go to shared components. I'm going to click into security attributes and navigate to browser security. Here, I ensure that embed in frames is selected as allow. I also need to make sure that refer policy is selected as origin. With my browser security all set up, I can go back to my application and run it. Here we can see that it worked. Through this video, we have reviewed Integration Insight, created an embeddable link, and successfully embedded that link into an Apex application. Thank you for watching, and I hope that this video has been helpful.